The path of the chosen one is not for the faint of heart. It's a journey marked by trials, tribulations and challenges that test the very core of one's being. In a world that often celebrates the extraordinary abilities of the chosen, it's easy to overlook the unspoken obstacles they must overcome. In this video, we'll shine a light on the six most significant challenges that chosen ones face on their quest to fulfill their destiny. From confronting their deepest fears to learning to trust the journey, we'll explore the hidden depths of what it means to be chosen. Whether you're a chosen one yourself or someone who appreciates the complexities of their journey, this video will provide you with insights, guidance and inspiration. So, let's dive in and unveil the unspoken challenges of the Chosen Ones. Internal Doubts and Insecurities As we embark on this journey of unveiling the unspoken challenges of the Chosen Ones, the first and perhaps most profound obstacle they must confront lies within themselves, the battle against internal doubts and insecurities. From the moment they realize their unique calling, chosen ones are thrust into a whirlwind of expectations and responsibilities. The weight of their destiny can be overwhelming, leading to a constant questioning of their own worthiness and capability. Am I truly ready for this? Do I have what it takes to fulfill my purpose? These doubts, like whispers in the shadows of their minds, can erode the very foundation of their self-belief. The struggle with insecurities is a deeply personal one, often hidden beneath the surface of their extraordinary abilities. To the outside world, chosen ones may appear confident, even invincible. But within, they grapple with the fear of failure, the worry that they may not live up to the expectations placed upon them. This inner turmoil can be all-consuming, threatening to derail their progress and hinder their growth. However, it is crucial for Chosen Ones to recognize that these doubts and insecurities are not weaknesses, but rather opportunities for profound transformation. By confronting and acknowledging these internal battles, they begin to develop a deeper understanding of themselves and their purpose. It is through this process of self-discovery that they can start to cultivate an unshakable belief in their own abilities and the path laid out before them. To overcome these internal challenges, Chosen Ones must learn to embrace self-compassion and practice self-care. They must remind themselves that their worth is not defined by their successes or failures, but by their unwavering commitment to their journey. It is essential to surround themselves with a support system of trusted individuals who can offer guidance, encouragement and a listening ear during times of self-doubt. Moreover, Chosen Ones must learn to reframe their insecurities as opportunities for growth and self-mastery. Each doubt overcome, each fear faced, becomes a testament to their resilience and strength. By viewing these challenges as stepping stones rather than barriers, they can cultivate a mindset of perseverance and determination. As they navigate this internal landscape, Chosen Ones must also remember that their journey is unique and cannot be compared to others. Comparison is the thief of joy and can further fuel doubts and insecurities. Instead, they must focus on their own path, trusting in the unfolding of their destiny and the lessons they are meant to learn along the way. By confronting and overcoming their internal doubts and insecurities, chosen ones lay the foundation for a more grounded and authentic journey. They begin to understand that their true power lies not in the absence of fear, but in their ability to rise above it. As they continue to face the unspoken challenges that lie ahead, this inner strength will serve as a guiding light, illuminating their path and empowering them to embrace their true potential. In the next section, we will explore the second challenge chosen ones must face, navigating loneliness and isolation. As they walk a path that few can truly understand, Chosen Ones must learn to find solace and connection in the midst of their extraordinary journey. Navigating Loneliness and Isolation As Chosen Ones continue their journey, having faced the internal battles of doubts and insecurities, they often find themselves confronted with another profound challenge the loneliness and isolation that comes with walking a path that few can truly understand. Being a chosen one is an extraordinary experience, but it can also be an incredibly isolating one. 
As they embark on their unique journey, chosen ones may find that their experiences, struggles and triumphs are difficult to relate to for those around them. The very qualities that set them apart, their heightened awareness, their unwavering dedication to their purpose, can create a sense of separation from others who are not on the same path. This isolation can manifest in various ways. Chosen ones may feel misunderstood by their loved ones who may struggle to grasp the depth of their calling. They may find it challenging to connect with others who are not grappling with the same existential questions or facing the same extraordinary challenges. The weight of their responsibilities can also lead to a sense of isolation as they may feel that they must bear the burden of their destiny alone. However, it is crucial for chosen ones to recognize that this loneliness is not a sentence, but rather an opportunity for profound growth and self-discovery. In the solitude of their journey, they have the chance to cultivate a deeper connection with themselves, to listen to the whispers of their soul, and to find strength in their own company. To navigate this isolation, chosen ones must learn to seek out connection in unconventional ways. They may find solace in connecting with others who share a similar path, even if their journeys are not identical. They can seek out mentors or guides who have walked the path before them, learning from their wisdom and finding comfort in their understanding. Moreover, chosen ones must learn to reframe their loneliness as an opportunity for self-reflection and spiritual growth. In the quiet moments of solitude, they can delve deeper into their own hearts, confronting their fears and discovering the true depths of their resilience. They can use this time to cultivate practices of self-care and self-love, nurturing their own spirits and finding refuge within themselves. It is also essential for chosen ones to remember that isolation does not mean disconnection from the world around them. They can still find ways to contribute to their communities, to share their gifts and insights, even if their path is different from others. By reaching out and offering their unique perspective, they can bridge the gap between their extraordinary experiences and the everyday lives of those around them. As chosen ones navigate the challenges of loneliness and isolation, they begin to understand that their solitude is not a weakness, but a strength. It is in the quiet moments of introspection that they can truly hear the call of their destiny, and it is through their self-reliance that they can develop the fortitude to pursue it. Facing resistance and opposition. As chosen ones continue to navigate the unspoken challenges of their journey, having faced the internal battles of doubts and insecurities and the isolation that comes with walking an extraordinary path, they inevitably encounter another significant obstacle, the resistance and opposition from those who do not understand or accept their purpose. Being a chosen one is not just about embracing one's own destiny, it also means confronting the skepticism, disbelief and sometimes even hostility of others who may not recognize or value their unique calling. This resistance can come from many sources, family members who worry about the unconventional path they've chosen, friends who struggle to relate to their experiences, or even society at large, which may view their journey with suspicion or dismissal. The opposition chosen ones face can be both subtle and overt. It may manifest as well-intentioned concern from loved ones who fear for their safety or happiness, or as outright criticism from those who view their path as misguided or foolish. This resistance can be deeply challenging, as it can shake the very foundation of their belief in themselves and their purpose. However, it is crucial for chosen ones to recognize that this opposition is not a reflection of their worth or the validity of their journey. Rather, it is often a manifestation of others' own fears, insecurities and limited understanding. Those who resist or oppose the path of the Chosen One may be grappling with their own unresolved issues or may feel threatened by the idea of someone pursuing a life that deviates from societal norms. To face this resistance and opposition, Chosen Ones must cultivate a deep sense of inner resilience and unwavering faith in their own path. They must learn to tune out the noise of external opinions and focus on the quiet voice of their own intuition. This requires a level of self-trust and self-assuredness that can only be developed through consistent inner work and self-reflection. 
Moreover, chosen ones must learn to surround themselves with a supportive community of individuals who understand and appreciate their journey. While they may face opposition from some, they can also seek out like-minded souls who can offer encouragement, guidance and a safe space to share their experiences. Building a network of support is crucial in weathering the storms of resistance and maintaining a sense of connection and purpose. It is also important for chosen ones to remember that resistance and opposition can be opportunities for growth and transformation. Each challenge they face, each skeptic they encounter, becomes a chance to deepen their own conviction and clarify their own path. By learning to stand firm in the face of adversity, they develop a level of inner strength and resilience that will serve them throughout their journey. Ultimately, the key to facing resistance and opposition lies in maintaining a sense of perspective and compassion. Chosen ones must remember that those who resist their path are often acting from a place of their own limitations and fears. By approaching these challenges with understanding and grace, they can transform opposition into an opportunity for healing and connection. As chosen ones continue to navigate the unspoken challenges of their extraordinary journey, they begin to understand that the resistance and opposition they face are not obstacles to be avoided, but rather integral parts of their path. By learning to face these challenges with courage, resilience and an open heart, they can transform adversity into a catalyst for their own growth and evolution. Balancing responsibility and self-care. As chosen ones continue to navigate the complexities of their journey, having faced the internal struggles, the isolation and the external opposition, they find themselves confronted with another critical challenge. Balancing the immense responsibility of their calling with the essential need for self-care and personal well-being. Being a chosen one is not just a title, it is a sacred duty, a commitment to a higher purpose that often demands great sacrifices. The weight of this responsibility can be all-consuming, as chosen ones feel compelled to dedicate every waking moment to their mission, often at the expense of their own physical, emotional and spiritual needs. The pressure to constantly be in service to others, to always be pushing forward towards their destiny, can lead to a sense of burnout and exhaustion. Chosen ones may find themselves neglecting their own self-care, putting their own needs on the back burner as they focus solely on their greater purpose. This imbalance can have profound consequences, not only for their personal well-being, but also for the very mission they are striving to fulfill. However, it is crucial for chosen ones to understand that self-care is not a luxury, but a necessity. In order to truly serve their purpose, they must first learn to nurture and sustain themselves. This means creating space in their lives for rest, reflection and rejuvenation. It means honouring their own physical, emotional and spiritual needs with the same devotion they bring to their external responsibilities. To achieve this balance, chosen ones must learn to set healthy boundaries and practice discernment in their commitments. They must recognise that saying no to certain demands or requests is not a failure, but an act of self-preservation. By learning to prioritize their own well-being, they can cultivate the resilience and stamina needed to sustainably pursue their path. Moreover, chosen ones must reframe self-care as an integral part of their spiritual practice. By tending to their own needs, they are not only honoring their own humanity, but also deepening their capacity to serve others. When they show up for themselves with compassion and care, they can bring that same presence and depth to their interactions with the world around them. This balance between responsibility and self-care is not always easy to achieve, and it may require ongoing adjustments and recalibrations. Chosen ones must be patient with themselves as they learn to navigate this delicate dance, recognizing that it is a lifelong practice rather than a one-time achievement. Ultimately, the key to mastering this challenge lies in embracing a holistic view of their journey. Chosen ones must understand that their personal well-being and their higher purpose are not separate, but deeply intertwined. By learning to honor both with equal reverence, they can cultivate a sense of wholeness and alignment that will sustain them through the many trials and triumphs of their path. Embracing vulnerability and authenticity. 
As chosen ones continue to navigate the intricate tapestry of their journey, having grappled with the balance between responsibility and self-care, they find themselves face to face with another profound challenge. Embracing vulnerability and authenticity in a world that often demands perfection and conformity. Being a chosen one is not about being flawless or infallible, it is about being deeply human, with all the complexities, struggles and imperfections that come with the territory. Yet, the weight of expectations, both from others and from themselves, can create immense pressure to present a facade of invulnerability to hide any cracks in the armour of their supposed strength. This pressure to appear always strong, always certain, always in control can be suffocating. It can lead chosen ones to suppress their own doubts, fears and insecurities, creating a disconnect between their inner world and their outer expression. This inauthenticity not only takes a toll on their own well-being, but also creates barriers to genuine connection and understanding with others. However, it is crucial for Chosen Ones to understand that vulnerability is not a weakness, but a profound strength. It is through embracing their own humanity, with all its beautiful imperfections, that they can truly step into their power. By allowing themselves to be seen, truly seen in all their complexity, they open the door to deep, authentic relationships, with others and with themselves. Moreover, vulnerability is a key to unlocking the transformative power of their journey. It is often in the moments of greatest uncertainty, in the spaces where they feel most exposed and raw, that the most profound growth and insight can occur. By learning to lean into these moments, to embrace the discomfort of not having all the answers, chosen ones can tap into a wellspring of wisdom and resilience they may not have known they possessed. Authenticity, too, is a crucial component of this challenge. Chosen ones must learn to show up as their true selves, not just in the quiet moments of solitude, but also in the public arena of their mission. This means speaking their truth, even when it's uncomfortable and living in alignment with their deepest values, even when it goes against the grain of societal expectations. To embrace vulnerability and authenticity, chosen ones must cultivate a deep sense of self-acceptance and self-compassion. They must learn to extend the same grace and understanding to themselves that they so readily offer to others. This involves reframing their own struggles and imperfections, not as liabilities, but as essential parts of their humanity, as opportunities for growth and connection. It also means surrounding themselves with people who can hold space for their authenticity, who can witness their vulnerability with love and non-judgment. Building a community of trust and support is essential for Chosen Ones as they navigate the often treacherous waters of being fully, unapologetically themselves. Ultimately, the challenge of embracing vulnerability and authenticity is a lifelong journey, one that requires constant recommitment and courage. But it is a journey that lies at the very heart of the Chosen One's path. For it is only by being fully, radically authentic in all their strength and all their struggle that they can truly fulfill their purpose and touch the lives of others in the way they are meant to. As Chosen Ones continue to walk this extraordinary path, they begin to understand that their greatest power lies not in their perfection, but in their willingness to be fully human. By embracing vulnerability and authenticity, they not only deepen their own journey, but also light the way for others to do the same. In the final section, we will explore the ultimate challenge Chosen Ones must face, learning to trust the unfolding of their journey and surrender to the profound mystery of their destiny. Trusting the journey and surrendering to the unknown. As we near the end of our exploration of the unspoken challenges faced by Chosen Ones, we arrive at the final and perhaps most profound test of their journey. Learning to trust the unfolding of their path and surrender to the great mystery of their destiny. Having navigated the internal battles of doubt and insecurity, the isolation and opposition from others, the balancing act of responsibility and self-care, and the vulnerability of authentic self-expression, chosen ones now stand at the precipice of the ultimate leap of faith, letting go of their need for control and certainty and embracing the unknown. 
The path of the Chosen One is not a straight line, nor is it a journey with a clear roadmap. It is a winding, sometimes treacherous, often unpredictable odyssey into the very heart of their purpose. And while they may have glimpses of their destination, the exact route is often shrouded in mystery. This uncertainty can be deeply unsettling, especially for those who have been conditioned to value control and predictability. The desire to know, to plan, to strategize every step of the way can be overwhelming. And when the path takes unexpected turns or leads into uncharted territories, it can be tempting to doubt the journey itself. However, it is precisely in these moments of uncertainty that the true test of the Chosen One's faith arises. Can they trust that every twist and turn, every challenge and setback, is a necessary part of their unfolding? Can they surrender to the wisdom of the journey, even when it defies their understanding? This is not a passive surrender, but an active choice to align oneself with the greater currents of destiny. It requires a deep, abiding faith, not necessarily in a specific outcome, but in the inherent rightness of the path itself. It means trusting that even the most difficult passages are leading somewhere, that even the darkest nights of the soul are gestating some new dawn. To cultivate this trust, chosen ones must learn to relinquish their attachment to a specific vision of how their journey should unfold. They must learn to embrace the present moment, with all its uncertainty and imperfection, as the only true reality. This requires a profound shift in perspective, from seeing the unknown as a threat to recognizing it as the very space where transformation becomes possible. Surrendering to the unknown also means learning to trust one's own inner guidance, even when it seems to contradict external expectations or logical reasoning. Chosen ones must develop a deep, unshakable connection to their own intuitive wisdom, allowing it to guide them through the fog of uncertainty. This is not always easy, and it may require a leap of faith that feels daunting at times, but it is in taking this leap, in daring to trust the unfolding even when we cannot see the end, that we open ourselves to the true magic and potential of the journey. Ultimately, the challenge of trusting the journey and surrendering to the unknown is an invitation to profound spiritual growth. It is an opportunity to deepen one's faith, not just in some external power, but in the inherent wisdom and rightness of one's own path. By learning to embrace uncertainty as the fertile ground of possibility, chosen ones can tap into a source of resilience and grace that will sustain them through every trial and triumph of their journey. As we conclude our exploration of the unspoken challenges faced by chosen ones, we are reminded that these trials are not mere obstacles to be overcome, but profound opportunities for transformation. Each challenge, from the internal struggles to the external pressures, from the need for balance to the call for authenticity, from the requirement of trust to the demand for surrender, is an invitation to grow, to evolve, to become more fully ourselves. And while the path of the Chosen One is not an easy one, it is a path of unparalleled beauty and meaning. For in rising to meet these challenges, in daring to face the shadows and the uncertainties, in choosing again and again to trust the unfolding, Chosen Ones not only fulfill their own unique destinies, but also light the way for others to do the same. In the end, the journey of the Chosen One is a journey of becoming, becoming more authentic, more compassionate, more resilient, more faithful, more fully alive. It is a journey that asks everything of us, but also gives everything in return. And it is a journey that, in the end, leads us home, home to our truest selves, home to our deepest purpose, home to the ineffable mystery that calls us all to the great adventure of life. In our journey through the unspoken challenges of the Chosen Ones, we've uncovered profound truths and transformative insights. But the real journey is just beginning, and it's one we walk together. To all the Chosen Ones out there, know that you're not alone. Your struggles, doubts and fears are part of the sacred path, and with each step, you're lighting the way for others. If these truths resonate with you, if you feel the call to embrace your own path of purpose, then join us. Hit that like button if you're ready to rise to the challenge. Subscribe to our channel to be part of a community of fellow travelers. And leave a comment below. Share your stories, insights and experiences. 
because when we share, we create a tapestry of wisdom that sustains us all. But don't just take our word for it. Be the proof, be the living example of what it means to walk the path of the chosen with courage, authenticity and grace. And if you're ready to take that step, if you're ready to trust the unfolding and embrace the unknown, then hit that like button like it's the first step on your journey. Subscribe as if you're signing your name to the sacred contract of your destiny, and comment below as if your words are the rally cry that will awaken the chosen within us all. The journey continues, and we're honoured to walk it with you. Let's rise to the challenge together.